So it was actually my uncle who told me about this spot. He sent me a photo a few days ago and he thought that it could be a potential good image and he was absolutely right. This spot has everything I look for in an image. If anything, I'm just missing a little bit of fog, but still, I think it's pretty good. Now, this is not going to be my best image by any means and I knew that before coming here. But if there is one thing I've learned about photography in these last few years is that this is a long-term journey, a lifelong journey, one that we can only take step by step or in this case click by click. And when I say click, I mean every single click, not just the ones that end up becoming, I don't know, portfolio-worthy images. Because in fact, in many ways, I'd say that those are the least important ones, because those are the finish line, the end of the path. But it is the clicks that don't work, the clicks that don't make for good images, for good photos. Those are the ones that matter, because those are the ones that are carving our path towards that finish line. This is something that I think we photographers tend to underestimate, me included, the amount of work, effort, and clicks required to make a good image. If there is one thing that the masters of photography have in common is that they shoot a lot for a long period of time. You know, when I look at the work of a photographer I admire, the most valuable information to me is not the uh, camera, the lens they used, the settings, not even the location. For me, the most important piece of information is the date. That is because the date tells you much more about how they work, about their, their process, than anything else. And what I've seen, with almost no exception, is that the work I like, where the date was provided, of course, well, it took time to make. Those dates give us some perspective. First, they show us that even the best photographer needs a lot of time to finish a compelling project, several weeks, months, if not years. Second, they hint what we don't see, the photographs that didn't make the cat. A couple of images from a trip to Iceland in 2010 tell us that the photographer got rid of a lot of images. There is no way they only made those two on such a trip. They definitely pressed the shutter dozens, if not hundreds of times. They clicked. What I like about seeing those uh, dates is that they reveal something that you can't see, uh, something that you can't know from looking at the images alone, and it's the amount of time invested in making them. It's usually a lot of time, but what we must... Be careful with the camera, okay? Hello! Hi! Okay, I have to show you the puppy because he's going crazy. Hello! Okay, hi! As I was saying, uh, it's usually a lot of time, but what we must realize is that conditions are not always perfect. In fact, they very rarely are. And today is a very good example of that. I don't like this weather, I don't like to shoot in these conditions, the light is very harsh. And uh, making an image here for me has been very challenging, uh, because I have to deal with the puppy, but also because, yeah, the light is just not right for the kind of images that I like to do. And I know that most of the photographs I'm taking today are no good, and probably none of them will ever make it to my website, my portfolio, one of my books, uh, maybe not even my Instagram account, or maybe not even this video. But I don't see those clicks as failures, uh, quite the opposite, actually, because every time I try to make an image, 
especially when it's hard to make one, I'm learning, I'm growing as a photographer. The easy thing would be for me to have fog here. It would be very easy to take a photo, to make a good image of these trees here in the um, water. That would look amazing. And it's an image that I will try to make at another time. But trying to make an image with what I got today is more challenging. It's harder. It's, it's pushing me farther. It's easy to dismiss all of this because luck plays a big role in photography. And even though, yes, we might get lucky, every once in a while, I do believe that we create our own luck. And we do it by, you know, getting out and practicing and taking photos and clicking away. Okay, hello. You wanna come here? Talk to the camera. <laughs> okay. Photography can be overwhelming, especially if you are just getting started because you start with zero images and you are comparing yourself to other photographers out there more uh, accomplished than you. So it is very important to be aware that all of those photographers we admire and the amazing work that they've done, we are looking at their finish line. You know, they, they've, they've already gone through the whole path and through the whole journey to get there. We're still going there. We're still on the way. I'll say even more. I'll say that many of those photographers that you look up to, they feel the same way that you might be feeling right now. I feel that way as well many times, very often. This video, like every other video in this channel, is not just to share my journey with you, but they are little reminders to myself of what matters in photography, of what I should be worried about. Today is the first time in, I don't know, a couple of weeks that I go out for photography. And it feels amazing to be out again. It's important to take breaks here and there, don't you think? Yeah. He agrees. The only way to get better, the only way to improve, the only way to make good images is to press to click the shutter in your camera and try. Dude, you are disgusting. I'm gonna have to take a shower now. Ah. Oh. Photography is not linear. Most of the time, our images are not going to be good enough. And that is normal. That is how it's supposed to be. But it is important to get out, to practice, to get better. So when the day comes, because the conditions are magical, or we go to an exotic location, whatever it is, we are ready. Never forget that the most important skills in photography are perseverance, like he's doing. He's very, he perseveres. And this is what we need to do with our photography. And we need to be patient as well. He is not that patient. That's why he's not getting what he wants. Now you want me to pet you, but this is not the way to do it. Not gonna happen. We are here for the long term. This is a very long journey. It's a lifelong journey. We just need to be aware of where we are in that journey and that to keep going, we need to do it one click at a time. Before letting you go, I wanted to highlight the work of one of my patrons, Steve Bennett. Steve has beautiful images on both his website and Instagram account that I'm going to be linking in the description down below. But I gotta say that as much as I like his photos of the foxes, they are very, very cute. I really love his black and white work. Totally worth checking out. As I said, the links are going to be in the description down below. Thank you so much, Steve, for your support. To all of my patrons, tomorrow we're going to be hosting another live stream, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. See you in the next one.